August 31st is International Overdose Awareness Day, a day to remember, without stigma, those who have died from overdose. Overdose affects everyone from grieving families to first responders. And the impacts of overdoses are far-reaching and they fall indiscriminately. And that is part of the reason why for the seventh year, Talbot goes purple. With us this afternoon is Joe Campbell. He's the sheriff of Talbot County, joined by Sherry Collier, the president of Midshore Restoring Hope in Women. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having us. All right, so I hate to ask you for the latest stat and figures because the numbers just seem to get worse and worse and worse. How, how common are overdoses? How are so un unfortunately, they're very common. Um, last year in 2022 was the worst year in the history of our country for overdose deaths. And, 65 to 70 percent of those overdose deaths were related to fentanyl. So the problem's not getting better. Um, you know, the pandemic really set things back, um, and it's uh, we're still struggling all across the shore and yeah. across the country yeah. with overdose deaths. So with those overdoses, you know, they're happening everywhere. What should someone do if they encounter someone they suspect overdosed? Well, the first thing you need to do is call 911. Um, you know, in, in Talbot County, many of the counties on the shore, we have a lot of people now that are being trained and, and all our police officers, paramedics are trained in the use of Narcan, which is an overdose re reversing drug uh, for opioids only. Opioids only. Um, but we would encourage people to, prior to stumbling onto that, is to reach out to your local health department or sheriff's office and get Narcan trained um, and have that with you that can bring back that person, help to bring, save that life. But if you're uh, if you're cornered with that situation, um, call 911, get emergency responders there as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Sherry, let me ask you this. Um, of course, with overdoses and, and addiction for that matter, there's a stigma. Yes. What can we do to help lessen the stigma around this? Just bring more awareness to the addiction um, and people just more resources, make them understand what addiction is. It affects everybody in some way, shape, or form. Um, and it's not a bad person, it's just a bad choice. And that's what the Festival of Hope is all about? Yes. The awareness, bring, tell us about it. Bring awareness. Um, we, it's a, three organizations together, Talbot Goes Purple, uh, Restoring Hope in Women, and Christ Church in East End. And the three of us put the festival on. Um, and it will be resource tables there. It's a totally free event for the community, free food, free music, um, just to bring everybody together and know what's out there to help yeah. and where they can find the help. So every now and then we get, we get a new viewer or new viewers and, and they haven't heard about it before. What's the main takeaway from Talbot Goes Purple? So Talbot Goes Purple, we formed it seven years ago with the help of a lot of organizations, inc including uh, Midshore uh, or Restoring Hope in Women. Um, it's an education, awareness, um, outreach to our community. Um, really what it's about, it's about our kids in our schools, mainly, about trying to educate them. You know, every year people said, oh, you're in your seventh year, What's, why do you keep doing this? Well, we have a new crop of ninth graders coming into the high school. We got a new crop of sixth graders going into the middle yeah. school. So we have purple clubs in our schools. We talk about the dangers of substance abuse and facts, and not trying to scare the kids, but facts about the earlier you start using, the greater your chance of addiction when you become later in life as a late teen, early, early 20s. Um, so we hit them with all those facts and then we have contests in our schools about who can do the best public service announcement and they'll win a prize, you know, a group of kids. So we're trying to get the kids to lead in their schools with the other kids about addiction, about uh, everything from vaping, marijuana use, uh, al early al alcohol use, um, which are all the pathways, can be the pathways to addiction. Right. So, and then we've had these great groups and support that they come in and they'll, they'll have us at numerous speaking events during the thing. We try to reach out to every sports team at our high schools and have somebody that actually played that sport at the high school who may have struggled with addiction wow. to come in and talk to the team and the kids about um, how they got addicted. Yeah. And, you know, so try to find people that can relate to the different groups that we have. So that's what we've been trying to do for the last seven years, and we're really excited to kick it off 
Festival Hope's a lot of fun. Yep. Um, I'll be in the dunk tank. So if yes. you got a ticket recently <laughs> and you want to dunk the share, if you can dunk the share, <laughs> free food, free everything, and, and bounce house for kids. It's, it's a lot of fun. We had a great turnout last year. Uh, thanks um, to Sh Sherry's group and Christ Church. We'll have a live band there, live music. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Remind us again, when is it? August 31st, Thursday night, 6 to 8 at Anchor Church on Goldsboro Street in Easton. All right. Sheriff Joe Gamble and Sherry Collier, thank you both for being with us this afternoon and talking about a very important message. Thank, thank you. you.